Hey everyone, we are about to head into another estate sale. Now it's a Sunday. This sale has been going on since Friday. It's absolutely huge. I couldn't go Friday because I was working. Now, yesterday, I decided to take some time off just to do some uh, organization around Primetime Treasure Headquarters and to spend a little bit of family time. So uh, today, Sunday, last day, hopefully there's some discounts and hopefully there's some stuff left. So let's hit in right now. said everything's half off? Everything's half off except okay. the slot machine. Okay. I like Pepsi thermometers. So I like all Pepsi products. I'll have to check that out. It's big, you know. Like, oh, really? Like, I looked at it and I was like, I don't have a spot for anything. Really? That big. <laughs> all right. I'll have I mean, to check it out. A, <laughs> it's a monster? Yeah, but all it's right. old. It's definitely a vintage. All right. Any Mountain Dew stuff? Uh, I don't remember seeing Mountain Dew stuff. <laughs> Maybe they have Mountain Dew stuff. Yeah, they have Mountain Dew stuff. Yeah, they have Mountain Dew stuff. Yeah, they have Mountain Dew stuff. Go ahead. Make my day. That is cool. Perfect. Actually, has bullet casings on it. Ford Road. Awesome. So yeah, this screw is, it looks like it's stripped out of here. All right, gonna try to vice grip. <laughs> clamp it on it. Just clamp it on and turn. Yeah, well that goes to show why you don't give up. See, just find a way and there you go. <laughs> Always flip things over. Always look on the bottom, that's where people tend to miss. So uh, right here you can see there's all these cars for the Mohawk Valley Prowlers. 
which was a minor league hockey team uh, here in the central New York area. So stuff for this team sells well. Uh, someone has one of these cars available right now for 15, but it's just one. Once that one sells, there's no more left. This is a good company, Zamboni. Uh, they're all new in package. And then I could price it up uh, above the uh, $15. So I'm gonna just try to get all these in bulk. And then there's some other promotional item here as well. And remember everything is uh, at least half off the sticker price that you see. All right, they're all out of there. Found a new home. And this just needs a little wash. This is really cool. So uh, rally towel, awesome. All right, so this is definitely a cool piece. Uh, I've always done well with Peel's draft beer items. Now this happens to be an old thermometer. Uh, came out in 1971. So 100 bucks is too much for a reselling, but it's half price, so 50 bucks. Could probably get 150 to 200, so I think we'll pick this up. Now a lot of people would look at this and think that the Yankees item might be the most valuable uh, when you compare this with this, but they made a zillion of these. And even though it's 1982, there's still a lot of them around. But this is something you're not gonna find often. It's a really cool 1963 calendar. So we've got this one and we've got this one here. Don't worry about the company so much. Uh, Deepwater Electric. And then you could see here we have Greenwood Lumber. They're both complete. What really is the most important is the city. Okay, so Edison, Tennessee. Shout out to Lina Hill, who's from Tennessee. She's probably watching this. And then here we've got Splinter Rock, Oregon. So if you're from Splinter Rock, let me know. But uh, people who live there, they would love to have something like this. Plus, someone who's into maritime activities, ships and stuff, would love to have uh, these types of calendars. So I love this stuff. And even better, the price is just going to be a buck a piece. Oh, and here's another one. This one has the city on the bottom. So give me a shout out if you're from Fidelity, Wisconsin. Cool. This is pretty cool. H and Co is uh, Hoffler and Co. They designed typefaces. They were originally located in New York City and uh, they are now in Massachusetts. So this is an old sign, uh, only 250, and a lot of people will pass it up because they don't know what the H and Co stands for. head inside and uh, first thing I come across here in the kitchen area is this vintage Syrico piece and this is a wood product that was made in Syracuse New York but you will find it in other places Noel farm girl scavenger has talked about it before uh, you can see here this came from uh, 1968 and uh, for five bucks I'll definitely pick it up no don't push me down no 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 <laughs> And uh, I'm taking a look at some of the glass pieces that I come across, uh, but unfortunately, like ones that I look at and think are cool, you know, have something like a you know, chip on it like that. So I've got to pass on that. Now this is a cool piece. Uh, this is anchor hocking. Uh, you could tell that here, if you get the right angle on it, you see that? That's part of the letters. Uh, it's probably one reason why it's still here. There's a piece of tape across it, but um, I'm actually going to keep this one here. Uh, it's, you know, people have this online for 16 bucks, so it's just not worth it. 
even at the 250, but it's a good buy for someone who's just here and wants someone like that for themselves. So for the Zippos, when you're in a situation like this, where they've all been researched in advance, they'll have a price on the front uh, or on the back of them. Uh, what you've got to do is try to find ones that are difficult to research in advance. So most of these are easy to research because you just type in the name or there's something easily identifiable on it, like the coyote and the cactus. But this one, you know, people will type in like spear tip or something and nothing will show up, but it's a turquoise arrowhead. And uh, it sells for much more than half of this. Half of this would be 20. So you could sell it for at least 60 or more. So probably 70. So I'm gonna pick this one up. And uh, always look on the bottom, that'll show you. It's clearly a Zippo. And no, even though this is Tasmanian Devil, it doesn't sell for much, but it is cool looking. Oh. This is the Pepsi sign she mentioned earlier. Uh, it's a reproduction sign. Uh, price on it is high, $90. Uh, you can get one on eBay for 80 bucks. So even half price, there's not enough meat on the bone. Plus you have to factor in the length of this for shipping. So, especially nowadays, so it's just not worth picking up even though I do like it. Plus it's scratched up and stuff, so gotta pass. All right, now this one on the other hand is a good deal. This Royal Crown Cola one. This is an original. Uh, this one goes back to the 1940s. Now the original one is 25 inches. So that's why I always carry this measuring tape with me so I could do a measurement. And uh, when measuring it, it does come out to uh, 25 inches. So. Uh, this one at half price would be 75. It sells between 250, 300. So uh, right now there's one at about 250 with like 13 watchers on it. So that's definitely enough room for me and I'm gonna pick this one up. It's exactly why I wanted to come on the second day and not the first day. I was talking to the uh, state cell uh, dealer, great guy. You know, he's telling me how much awesome stuff was here on the first day, which I'm sure there was, but you know, for me to make a good profit on this stuff reselling wise, this is the day I had to come for this stuff. There we go. Alright, for 20 bucks, I am loving this wood sign. So cool. I love the electric logo on here. The red and the yellow, let's talk about that. The printing on it is awesome. It's gotta do a little research on it for location, but it's super cool. Awesome. There we go. All right, here's two good things on this table. Uh, I don't know if you remember the video where I showed all the fire mark signs that I picked up. They're all cast iron. Uh, this one will be 20. It's uh, right now online for over 100. And it's vintage, 1977. They used to hang these outside the buildings to show that they had fire insurance. And this is a cool marine statue. Uh, there's no maker's mark on it, but for just five bucks, this is definitely another good pickup. time why don't you pick me up with those big hands of yours and slide me into that big box over there well um okay since you asked so nicely i'll just slide you right in there so from over there to over here i'm surprised to see these signed pieces still sitting here uh, there's two of uh, Don Garlitz, uh, so nice vintage uh, auto racing uh, sheets. And then this one of uh, local boxing legend, Carmen Basilio, really cool. So I'm definitely gonna pick these up.
notice how I strategically place these things uh, within the boxes to protect them. And so uh, these sheets are gonna go between uh, these two pieces uh, right here. And just push it down and it'll be nice and safe as I walk around. Looks like the upstairs is blocked off. There's no access to the upstairs? No, no access. So just downstairs, the basement? Yep. Okay. All right, well, down to the basement we go. I already put my box down here so that I could get down here safely. Otherwise, I'd probably fall down. That would not be a good sight. All right. Oh, wow, there's lots of cool stuff down here. All right, just pick a spot and start looking. And before we get over there, uh, I have always wanted to personally own one of these uh, Pepsi Cola wood crates, uh, but you gotta be careful. Uh, the reason why this is priced so low is because the bottom wood piece is missing on uh, both sides here and that does uh, take the value down. Although at least it still has the Pepsi Cola uh, symbol on it, logo but uh, I'm still gonna pass on it. All right, so I wanted to check out these hats first before I got over there, and uh, nothing really struck my fancy except for this one, and the reason is the pin, so I wanted to make sure I pointed that out because a lot of times uh, these hats get left behind because you know people are just looking at the hat but not focused on the pins. The pins is where the value really is here, so uh, I'm definitely gonna pick this up for $1.50. I might be able to sell the hat, but uh, again, pins is really what I care about here. Definitely a cool neon Budweiser sign. I've always wanted to pick up one of these neon signs, but it's so difficult because of price point. Uh, even at $75, uh, there's just still not enough room considering the size of this and, you know, shipping it and packing and everything. It's just not worth it. This Mets can is really beat up, it's dusty, it's got stains on it. Now, if it was worth cleaning up, I would, uh, but you know, something like this sells for 40 bucks with shipping. Again, one of these examples of something that's just not worth it, and so uh, this was something that people should uh, leave behind for sure. Another thing commonly left behind would be these old radios. Uh, one reason is because people have difficulty looking them up. And secondly, uh, people don't know if they work or not, obviously. Uh, but for this price point, which is gonna be five bucks, you cannot miss it. So in terms of looking it up, sometimes you have to look under the buttons. You can see there, Delco, a GM. And then here you have a part number, so that could help you look it up. Uh, in addition to that, um, these will just sell for parts. So it doesn't even matter if it works. So again, five bucks, can't miss. Definitely gonna pick this up. I've sold stuff like this before and I've done very well. Now this is classic. A lot of people leave things like this behind. I've shown this before. Uh, the last time I picked up two auto shades, they sold for about 50 bucks a piece. And uh, this one will sell for between 30 something and you know, 40 ish dollars. So for a $1, actually 50 cent pickup, totally worth it. 
All right, so here you go. A grand total of $289. That is with the half off. So again, that's why I came today. I cannot make this work if the price was $600 for everything. But now, you know, I could sell one of those signs, for example, for, you know, around 300 bucks. Uh, that RC Cola one, I'm hoping, a 250, 300 or so. And, um, you know, if so, then I'll pretty much make my investment back. And then everything else that you saw there uh, that I picked up will be profit. So that's one of my goals uh, this year is to pick up uh, more high-end things. Uh, so I have less stuff, but each item that I sell will bring in more money to the business. So with that, I'm going to head back to Primetime Treasure Headquarters and uh, go for some lunch with Mrs. Primetime. Daisy, that's Bernie. Say hi to Bernie. <laughs> Oh, what's he saying? Is he telling you where the chipmunks are? Is he telling you where the chipmunks are? Are there any chipmunks over there? You heard the word chipmunk? Say hi to Bernie. Bernie. Hi, Bernie. you look back. Daisy, where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? <laughs>